Vegas, Nevada, as Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by TGB Promotions and MP Promotions, as sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. Bet with the only top-rated sportsbook app that matters. Along with the Air Force Reserve, start your adventure by going to afreserve.com and a cop shop. Like big hits, Gerard Butler stars in Cop Shop, rated R only in theaters September 17th. Well, fans, our main event is sanctioned by the WBA, the President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, introducing to you our three judges scoring from ringside, Dave Moretti, Patricia Morse Jarman, and Steve Weisfeld. All right, fans, here we go with a bout you've all been waiting for. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with red trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of Santiago de Cuba in Cuba. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record stands at 26 wins, four losses with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the 2008 Olympic bronze medalist tonight making the first defense of his world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current reigning and defending WBA welterweight champion of the world. Introducing 54 Milagros, Jordani Ugas. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner the world over, wearing white trunks trimmed with flames. As the boxing senator, he is fighting out of and proudly representing the Serengani province in the Philippines. He weighed in at a trim and ready 146 pounds. As a true icon of boxing, his record stands at 62 wins, seven losses and two draws, with 39 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the four-time welterweight world champion and boxing's legendary and only eight-division champion of the world, introducing the one and the only Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. And the referee in charge now to give instructions, Russell Mora. Center ring, gentlemen. Center ring. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Trunks here are good. Trunks here are good. Anything below this belt line is a foul. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch on. Forty-two years old, two years removed from his last fight. His wife, Chicky, there. His family here. He's got a huge entourage. And even at his age of 42, we somehow expect him to defy time the way he's done physical size. You wonder, can his fighting spirit and zest for combat carry the day once again? Well, if his body language is any indication, he's already out in the middle of the ring. Here we go, round number one. Manny Pacquiao and your Dennis Ugas. Pacquiao out, probing with the jab, and there's the double jab immediately from Ugas. Sean Porter, as you pointed out, he's got a beautiful jab, and he usually throws two at a time. Pacquiao steps in with body shots. Yeah, Udenis has got to continue to use that jab. I appreciate the patience of you, Udenis, but use that jab and keep Manny guessing. Make Manny reset. That's what the jab is going to do. It's going to force Manny to reset. You saw how quickly he was able to jump in and get to the body, Joe. Yeah, it's pretty much what he did with Thurman in the first round. He went out there and, and, and unleashed a combination. He's got fast feet still, Manny Pacquiao. And look, Ugas is going to have to deal with Manny's jab, too, when he does decide to throw it. So 
you know, but Ugas definitely have the reach advantage. There's yeah. no doubt about it. That was a nice jab that Ugas just landed too, fellas. Just stepped it right in, and Pacquiao had to respect it. And that's the thing about Manny. You can you can get Manny to respect you. You can get some room and some space to operate. And right now, Ugas has the respect because he's created the distance that he needs. Oh, he jumped right in there and hit him with the right hook. Manny has always been able to close that gap. Remember, we fought Juan Manuel Marquez. Knocked him down three times with left hands in the first round. Marquez could not find an answer. Ugas already realizing he's in with a very different guy. Hard right hand from Ugas. Manny, Manny landed a good right hook, and Ugas came back with a stiff jab himself. I mean, look at the fighting spirit from Pacquiao already, and it's a very different fight against Keith Thurman. Thurman was the guy who was pressing. Pacquiao was very mobile. Here, it is Pacquiao showing the power early in this round one. Yeah, he knows he can't stay on the outside of the, that long reach of Ugas. I mean, wouldn't you agree with that, Sean? Yeah, no, he can't stand on the outside. And I think right now, a little too much posturing right now and posing by Manny. I like to see Manny a little bit more with that in and out. But we got to appreciate the fact that he is 42 and he's got to pace himself a little bit more. And the fact that Ugas is smart enough to flip you on the way in if you make yep. mistakes. So yep. he, he's got to be a little bit cautious. I think he threw caution to the wind like two or three times so far in different sets Manny has in this round. I got Ugas' attention as well. I yeah. mean, you can see Ugas would like to stand there and throw that long jab out, but he's getting touched by Pacquiao. And he can see the power, and you have to respect the Pacquiao power. Pacquiao says bring that up. So does Russell Mora. Yep. Well, that's one thing that Ugas does well. If he blocks or turns on you, he'll come back and counter you with two body shots. Not just one, two. He throws him hard, too, Joe. He'll dig in yeah. and throw a hard body shot against Pacquiao, though. As most fighters have found, it's just a different rhythm. It's a different equation. You see what I'm saying? Look, the jab. Yeah. The jab is going to be, it's going to lead to the success for oh, Ugas. No. He jumped in and he got pushed down. Obviously not a knockdown as we end round number one. And we will go to the corner of Manny Pacquiao with Freddie Roach. jab I mean, it fell short all of it fell short except he would kept stepping in and the third punch landed so it, it took three punches for Pacquiao to get now Ugas came in with that right body shot that was a nice belly shot and landed that was clean and Pacquiao tried to throw a right hook off of it now here we go here's Pacquiao throwing, throwing a, a, a decoy jab left hand and then again the third punch is what landed and here's the where they got inside and uh, Ugas uh, gave him a good shoulder and Pacquiao got on top and fell backwards. But I, I just think the effort alone by Pacquiao won him that round. I, I agree, but the thing that I liked about Ugas was he wasn't afraid to use his jab to keep to get to keep Manny off of him. But the other thing that pushed at the end of the round, the respect. You need Manny to respect you. Manny doesn't respect the jab. That's why he's getting hit with the jab. That was a beautiful counter jab from Ugas too. And in round number one, 21 of his 27 punches thrown were jabs. And not only that, it's an effortless double jab. He and puts the first one out, that second one lands again. And I gotta also say this, remember, your Dennis Ugas is a Cuban fighter, has the Cuban background 100%. That's an intellectual island, those fighters. Very intellectual fighters. So we see the jab right now. Ugas is working accordingly. Look at the championship box fought. I mean, uh, no one's gonna stack up to Pacquiao through 27 years of being a professional. A pro at the age of 16 at 98 pounds. And I would say even in round one, good jab by Pacquiao. Pacquiao is still the more menacing fighter, isn't he? When he jumps yeah. in with a combination, you know he means business. Yeah, and Pacquiao landed a good jab himself just a second ago. They're not as as often as Ugas is throwing his, but uh, Ugas is not really being, not working in a hard way. In other words, he's just throwing an occasional jab right now, and he's really holding back on some better power punches that he should be throwing. Pacquiao was stopped there by a right hand. He's doubling up on the jab and then a left hand coming off the jab as well. Pacquiao is still busy with his hands. Ugas outlanding Pacquiao so far in this fight. I can also see the patience of Manny. It could be Manny, and, and he's getting hit with the jab. We can't ignore the fact that 
Ugas is landing jabs, but I got a feeling Manny's trying to set him up, let him get comfortable so he so that he'll open up a little more. I agree with that because Manny's always looking for that to land that that big shot. But another thing Ugas is doing, Sean, and you know most the conventional way to move against the southpaw is towards their jab side, but Ugas is moving towards the power shot, the power side of Manny Pacquiao, which is unusual. I encourage it with southpaws, but not many guys do that. Yep. Th those numbers, by the way, are interesting in that Pacquiao is throwing a lot of jabs, but not landing. Ugas is much more accurate. 45 seconds to go here in round number two. Pacquiao jumps in, tries to trade. Would love to get this as a firefight on the inside. Ugas has real power. Pacquiao Nothing. has to respect that right hand coming up the middle. Yeah, and, and, and again, there it is. Pacquiao and Ugas both landed good uppercuts to the belly in that last exchange, one each. Very good round of boxing by Ugas. I, I just, I, I like everything from Ugas in this round. The jab, the patience, that the shell defense that he likes to use, and also timing Manny pretty well with the offhand. Another jab by Ugas. Stop. He has outlanded Manny What's Pacquiao through two Go rounds. Pass, it's been an interesting fight. What'd you do? What I had to do to get to you, Teddy. <laughs> Why are you trying to kill him? I'm the bad guy. Get me out of here. You gotta date with me first. I got a lot of money. There's no deal to be made. Deja vu. That's not deja vu, dummy. Cop shop, only in theaters, September 17th. In the corner there for your Dennis Ugas, Joe Goose, and what would you be telling Ugas right now? Well, you know, pick up the pace. I mean, keep using that jab, but follow up with something off of that. You know, he's got to keep his hands busy because if Manny Pacquiao moves his hands more, he's going to win the judges' scoring. That's number one. Number two, Russell Mora just warned Ugas the second time in this fight uh, for low blows. So, you know, third time may be a charm. There's Diana Leon. Your Dennis Ugas' fiance ringside here as we get into round number three. And I'm keeping a close eye on the jab connect, 17 to 6, in favor of your Dennis Ugas as Pacquiao jumps in with a jab immediately. And the physicality right there of Ugas to push him off. That's, I like that. That's right, but Russell Mora just warned him for doing that because you know you can't push off. It's not legal. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> you know. But it, but to be there and gain his respect, so yeah, not exactly. gonna get pushed around. Exactly. I, I, you know, probably not going to deter Manny Pacquiao much. I mean, getting pushed, especially if if, if he's got the backing of the know. referee right now. So yeah. he's, you know, like I say, Pacquiao's is, is going to win these rounds just by sheer, you know, action, just by keeping his hands busy. Because right now, Ugas is not busy. Don't you agree? No, he's not busy this round. I gave Ugas the second round. And the reason why I gave Ugas the second round is because of his jab. And he was a little more busy in the, in the second than he is now here in the third. But I'll tell you what, he's giving, U he's giving Manny Pacquiao a puzzle to, to solve. Good right, right there. Good right hand there by Ugas comes in right after Pacquiao had a counter jab back in. But that right hand gets his attention. Pacquiao tries to go to war. Another right hand by Ugas. I'll tell you what that is. It's a great right uh, Cuban uh, hook. It's, a, it's like a right. It's not straight, but it's not a hook. It comes around your glove. Well, that's and right. Manny's not re and Manny's not ready for that punch. Ugas able to block those shots from Pacquiao, at least those. You see the punches landed. Still quite close. And we've got a real fight. We expected it, and we're getting it. But see, that right hand, that little looper right hand that he's throwing, it's only, it's only possible because he's edging on the right side, on Manny Pacquiao's left side. Very so he's, he's got a nice little view there, and that's how he's landing it. Plus, it's trying to set up that straight right hand. He wants to give him a little taste around the corner and then come down the middle with it eventually. And guess what? Manny isn't using his feet. Uh, we, you know, we can speak to him being 42, but he's got to start to use his legs and give uh, Ugas a different look uh, uh, beyond those fast hands that he has. And what's what's the look you're looking for? I'm looking for in and out. I'm looking for pivots. Pacquiao bounces Ugas up to the ropes right after he ate a strong right hand. You'll have to make this a war. If you stand at distance, it'll end up like that. Ugas is able to fight at distance with that beautiful long jab. Here's what we knew when we fought Ugas. We knew that he wouldn't move his feet very well, and we knew that we would have a good chance of outboxing him. I moved a lot in that fight because I knew that Ugas didn't have the kind of feet that I have. 
Ugas doesn't have the feet that Manny has, but Manny's not using them right now. Yeah, Pacquiao yeah. is not moving around the ring. You're right. Not mobile. He was you very know, mobile two years you, ago. You know what it looks Keith like. Big you know, right there. Again. You know what it looks like to me? Looks to me like he just wants to ball his way right through Ugas. Yeah. And he's not interested in doing angles or anything else. He yeah. wants to go get him. He wanted a piece of Ugas there, no question Damn. about it. We're through three rounds in Las Vegas. That was a good round of boxing there. I, I'd be interested to see what um, Larry Hazard has to say after three. Right here is the, this is what I call it, a Cuban right hook. It's, it's straighter than a hook, but it's also got a little loop around it, getting around the jab, excuse me, the backhand of uh, Manny Pacquiao. And then right there again, the jab is what's going to lead Ugas to a success. Manny saying, hey, throwing everything out the window, and I'm coming at you with everything that I got. And this really worked for him right there at the end of that round. Right. He's, he's, he's a charging bull right now. I don't think he's interested in science as much as he is making it look good and bowling his way into yeah he's become Ugas. A, right he's become the fighter in here against the boxer your dennis ugas ugas normally throws 28 jabs around there was a lot of talk out there mostly on the internet about uh, the left bicep of your dennis ugas possibly injured he's throwing 25 jabs per round in this fight and that's a beautiful double jab again so it doesn't appear that left hand is injured no I thought everything on social media was true. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Pacquiao go to work again. Ugas able to get a good defense and block those shots. But again, it, it's, it's the visual that Pacquiao's giving the judges right now. There's a good right hand, but it looked. This is the third warning. He may take a point. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't okay. think that was that bad. So many, many blocks the shot and makes it go lower than it, than, okay. than it was aimed towards. But you just, Look, you, you can't get in the way this early. You're ready. You okay? Okay. Now you get see what up. Pacquiao's trunks are. Don't make me take Joe, he's allowed to Let's touch go. part of that waistband, right? That's up above his belly button. That's he can hit some of that waistband. Was that that low? Here it, is, here, here it is. Look, that, that's going to probably land right on the belt line, the right hand. Let's see where it goes. He jabs high, he takes a vision away. Uh, that was right on the belt line. Low. So, what's that, Sean? Yeah, I was a little low. Listen, Joe, a oh, little no, low. No, no argument <laughs> here. It's I'm just saying it looked it. to me yeah. like it hit the belt line, yeah. OK? Yeah. Uh, I, I may not be seeing that correctly, but I think I did see it hit no, the belt line. You know what, line. Joe, to your point, I thought, I thought it was fine. Watching it back on replay, I think Russell Moore had a point. It was a, it was a, it was a little low. And it it was a warning, not a point taken away. Okay, that's the third warning, and right now Pacquiao again is letting his hands go. I tell you what Ugas is doing that I'm, I'm surprised by. He's actually finishing some of these exchanges, and I didn't expect that to come from Ugas. You know, you've got to get into the combat if you're going to fight Pacquiao. Yeah. Pacquiao, yep. he's at the age of 42, seems to want to mix it up, and that's probably his best chance for victory tonight. Very much in the balance here against the game, your Dennis Ugas. Well, Ugas is holding his ground right now. Now he's looking to block and counter. He's saying, throw it, Manny, because I got something back for you. Okay, there we go again. the body from Ugas that time. Another belt shot, and Russell Moore didn't say anything there, although Manny just touched his belt like, hey, it's low again. Right hand over the top, partially blocked. Up the middle, Pacquiao tries the left hand. It's a good counter jab again. You see the power punches, Pacquiao outlanding Ugas. In jabs, however, it is 26 to 17 in favor of the Cuban fighter. And Manny can't time the jab. You see, every time Manny gets hit with the jab, puts his hands down out of disgust and almost out of frustration because he, he, he can't time the jab right now. Wow, it's a beautiful jab by Pacquiao. Uh, it was three right jabs by Pacquiao and a little turn and a little left hand. And, and there's an answer. Ugas come, yeah. came back with a right hand. Oh, a little fire, too. Ugas said, yeah, you got me there, and he just popped it with his own jab. Ugas has been fighting at a world-class level for a long, long time. No, no, back no, down, no, that no, knee no. touched, and just a slip from Ugas. Final seconds, round number four. It has been spirited and action-packed so far. You want to play a game? If you say a candy man five times while looking in the mirror, 
He appears in the reflection and kills you. Hell no. <laughs> you should say it. Candyman. Candyman. <laughs> say it. Candyman. Candyman. Say it. <laughs> say it. We got a little replay coming up here. Let's see what. Okay, here we go. We got, we got. Uh, we got countering the jab by Pacquiao. Then he throws another jab, backs up Pacquiao, and then shoots that right hand right into the belly. It was a nice setup. Very good move. That's a great setup. Look at yeah. two to the to the top, yeah. and then one right down the middle. That yeah. that was great box, uh, great boxing combination right there. Yeah. Son, how did you deal with the double jabs? Again, that is a long, effortless double jab that I'm, Ugas throws. I'm telling you. So the, what we what I felt was come out here, use your movement, use your speed, and control this fight, and control the tempo. That's what I did. Manny does not have control right now, which is why I believe Manny is losing this fight. You used the ring. Exactly. What you did. Exactly. Now, I, I don't know if Manny's losing this. Fight. I'm not too sure about that, Sean. Of course, you know, we're, we're both looking at the same fight, but we may have a difference of opinion. I, I think it's a close fight. I think so, too. Let's get uh, a little indication of that and go to Larry Hazard. Larry, how do you have it scored so far? Well, guys, you're carrying on an interesting conversation, but I got Pacquiao ahead, 39-27. Look, Pacquiao has what we call judge appeal. He may not have the quick legs anymore, but he's got those fast hands. And nobody's really landing anything of great significance. Right. So judges tend to score on volume. And that's what Pacquiao is doing. So I got him ahead, 39, 27, 37. Larry, Larry, thank you. By the way, punches landed. It is, it's very close. There's a little more power for Pacquiao, but also his face is marked up a bit. I mean, jabs are not just, you know, feather dusters no. just touching him. He's got swelling below both eyes, but I agree with Larry in the sense that he's got judge appeal. He's, he's like making the action happen for the most part. And those uh, jabs are landing too. That right hand yes. lands by Ugas, then doubles it up on the jab in the right hand. Three punch combination all on Pacquiao's face. But Pacquiao got those back. You know, he, he touched them back three times. Well, that's part of the difficulty of judging Joe, too, is that you need to process an awful lot going back and forth. Hmm? Slows up just a bit, which favors Ugas. Wax with the right hand. Jordan Plant is in Ugas' corner. Jordan, watch your Jordan, heads. Your heads. Yeah, some interesting Good. info. Watch your heads. Rep Mora was just in their corner said, hey, once Lowe's a warning, next time I see it twice, I'm going to deduct a point. Back to you, Brian. All right, Jordan, you were talking about that before, again, in the previous Ugas fight, where he had a point taken away by Mora, and I, I thought he handled it properly. Mora did it by giving the warning, giving Manny a little bit of time. It was a shade low on his belt. 40 seconds off round number five. In the meantime, Pacquiao slipped in two lead left hands. And a couple of jabs just like that. And there goes Ugas. Pacquiao was blocked, though. But it was a good counter shot by Ugas. Hey, Manny has is, is got a high level of energy. He's this on a fire tonight. He's a on 42 fire. 42 year old man. He does not want to lose this fight. He does not want to lose. Neither guy does, obviously. But Manny knows how to win fights. Yeah, Manny knows how to win fights since the fifth round, which is why I'm not concerned. However, I do believe that Ugas has more control of this match. Tell you, Chinky's than, concerned. Than, That's than, for uh, sure. Then Manny Pacquiao. Chinky is looking on. She can barely look. A big exchange there by Pacquiao. He wants to make this a war. Wow. He gives you your money's worth. It's no question. I mean, they're taking an awful long time to get that stool in the corner there. He's just sitting down now, and probably 20 seconds have passed. All right, here's some replay, Sean, you know? Yeah, no, oh, yeah, I'll that take one. Ugas. Look, we got a jab right here from Ugas. Right. This is what, what's helping him win this fight. Right now, I, I feel like Ugas is controlling the fight. And All then right. right here, after this exchange, look, boom, the counter immediately. Manny has not picked up the timing and the rhythm of, of your Dennis Ugas. Yeah. And then right here, great exchange from both men. But again, Ugas not afraid to go right back there with Manny Pacquiao. It's a great yeah. fight. And, and I will say, Manny had some of his very good moments in that round. We saw two by Ugas right there. It, there's a lot of give and take right now. A lot of back and forth. But 
uh, you know, we still get this, we're halfway through the fight. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, know. look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to step out of the judging uh, seat, <laughs> and I'm just going to continue to call the fight. I, my score doesn't matter either way, so I'll just tell you what I see, and what I see is that, look at this, the comfort now of your Dennis Ugas, and also giving Manny Pacquiao different looks. Manny was not as prepared for this fight as Ugas is. Round six now here in Las Vegas. Brian Kenny, Joe Goose, and Sean Porter ringside. And Manny Pacquiao has thrown at least 15 more punches in every round. But one key stat, if you look at CompuBox, the jabs landed. Ugas has the edge 33 to 23. And that jab and that double jab, a big difference. Off the jab, Ugas lands with a right hand. Pacquiao, though, with the energy. And to your point, That's Joe, right. that he's got energy. He's landing shots. Larry Hazard loves that as well. There's raw aggression for Pacquiao making the fight. That right hand lands. It's, it's a hook coming around the, the glove of Manny Pacquiao, but it lands because of the long reach and arms of your Denis Lugas. You know what else? The jab is making the difference here. 82% of this fight is spent at distance, just as they are now. So Ugas gets a long look and gets to put out that long jab. He does, but he spends a lot of time looking. I mean, that's what I'm saying. He's 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 active, but I, I think he could, you know, to impress me more, I think he should be more active, to tell you the truth. Hey. Again, Manny's taking his time, but I, I like Manny's energy. But again, Ugas is coming on this round. I think he's that probably the best round. Down. No question. I, I'll tell you what I like about Ugas, Joe. I like the fact that Ugas is giving different looks. You see that right there? That's the shell defense. And then sometimes he pulls straight back. And then sometimes he's willing to stay right there, just like that, and counter. It's giving Manny, it's, it's, it's a puzzle. And Manny has not solved the puzzle. Pacquiao able to land an uppercut just before, but then took that thudding right hand once again. See, punches landed very close. Right hand again, partially blocked by Pacquiao. He's a man in a real fight. He wanted Errol Spence, number one welterweight in the world, but eagerly took on the challenge of your Dennis Ugas, who he knows is for real. And I gotta wonder, with Manny being the pro pros, now we're in the middle of this fight, is he gonna switch, flip a switch and do something a little different? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm gonna see that. I, I feel like it needs to happen. I, I think if he starts backing up and trying to box, it'll be worse for him, to tell you the truth. I think it'll give Ugas a lot more incentive to do what he's doing. I think that's what he should be doing more of, meeting the challenge of Ugas coming in at him and impressing the judges, trying to get his shots off. Trying to make him throw his hands. You know, Ugas has got to throw. If he stays in that defensive shell and jabbing just like that, he's going to be able to keep him at distance. Land that right hand. He lands a right hand there as well. Pacquiao jumps back in. And we are halfway through this fight. Let's go upstairs, Kate Abdo and Keith Thurman. Thank you very much, Keith Thurman. Obviously, the last man to fight Manny Pacquiao before this fight back in 2019. Manny's fighting a different fight this time around. He's fighting a different fight, but he's definitely fighting a different fighter. You know, Ugas is standing right there in the middle of the ring. He's utilizing that jab, but Manny's still being Manny Pacquiao, fighting with those spurts and those flurries. And that's the hard part about fighting Manny Pacquiao, because those flurries, he gets so much credit from the judges. And of course, Ugas is doing good with the jab, but the jab's not going to win you fights. If Ugas truly wants to win this fight, he needs to keep letting that straight right hand go. He needs to keep not being worried and trying to touch the body a little bit obviously keep up he's about to get deducted a point if he keeps doing low blows but he needs to let the right hand go he needs to throw power punches because that's one thing that Manny Pacquiao doesn't hesitate on let's get you back ringside for the next round okay thank you very much you know I don't know that jab you know landing that can win rounds it's been close here and we don't know how the judges will have it they have top flight judges for this fight Dave Moretti Steve Weisfeld considered the best in the business Patricia Morse Jarman and you see the jabs landed. Ugas with the big edge, 37 to 26. Good jab there by Pacquiao. But he's got to make this a firefight in order to gain some momentum and drive Ugas back. The more it's a set piece, Joe, I think it more favors Ugas. Yeah, uh, look, I, I, I liked what Keith said. I'm on more in concordance with that, um, basically, that Pacquiao is, is a, you know, he throws those flurries. He makes it look it looks good, I think. I said it to Sean earlier that Ugas has got to start throwing that right hand or more power punches. And uh, so, you know, there, there's a lot to be said on, on both opinions here. But regardless, it's a very competitive fight. Right, and, right and hand I don't, think, I don't yeah. think anyone's running away with no, it. No, no question. Yeah, flurry there by Pacquiao. Most of those shots blocked. Ugas was able to land that right hand as he throws a kind of he plants and 
throws a vicious combination toward Pacquiao. He's not just boxing, moving, and keeping him at bay. He's standing in and trading with Pacquiao. Well, yeah, look, he's got great skills. Uh, you know, Sean said it. You know, the Cubans are taught very well. Uh, he's got good head movement. He's uh, got good radar. He knows what's coming. And then he slips and he comes back with stuff. So, you know, it, 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 it's a type of fight that he's capable of fighting and doing well with. Pacquiao with some scoring shots there. Look, it comes down to scoring blows. How often are you landing your shot? And then what damage are you incurring on the other fighter? Those shots are landing from Ugas. Look at that right there. Ugas is picking moments yep. to, 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 to let go of his hands. And, yeah, he has success when he does it. That was a three-punch combination. Landed two of them flush. Round number seven, scheduled for 12. Ugas able to move Pacquiao back just a bit. Pacquiao fires back, tries to get close. Look at that. Double jab up in the right hand from Ugas. That's what I expect of Ugas. If he wants to win this fight, I, I, I want him to see, I, I would like to see him do that. Throw those hard, long shots off the jab. Don't don't waste a good jab. A jab is a setup punch <laughs> for your next punch. Yeah, don't waste a good jab. I like that. <laughs> yeah. But again, more if Pacquiao is not closing the gap, then he allows Ugas to pick his spots, control distance, and make it a fight when he wants to make it a fight. So far, he's been able to do that. Punches landed, still very close. Slight favoring Ugas. Right hand lands from Ugas. Another right hand. Pacquiao now time to fire back. You wonder how much energy does this man have at the age of 42? Can he pick up the pace? Can he slip it into another gear at his age? Ugas says, I'm right here. I'm right here. A lot of jabs in this fight, mostly from Ugas here, Joe. Hey, listen, I'm a fan of the jab. I say I'm nothing without my jab. Look at the long jab of your Dennis Ugas. I know Keith said you can't win the, the fight with just the jab. However, Joe, I feel like the jab is setting it up for, for your Dennis. Well, I, I, I don't think any of us disagree about the jab, but I think you do agree. You utilize the jab to do what should come next. Right. right yeah, I thought it was coming right, right there. Right. You're right. The double jab sets up the right hand. Don't waste the good jab. I love it, Joe. <laughs> Damian Lillard here. The Ugas fighting. Yep, okay. And trying to convince viewers that is not winning this fight. He's a fan of both. What is he convincing viewers of? Uh, uh, he calling you. He's he's calling out Joe, and he's calling out uh, BK. He ain't they calling out Sean. Oh, and they <laughs> trying to convince viewers. Yeah, they. Wait, they're trying to convince viewers that Ugas is not winning this fight. They is 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 you. I'm saying BK? Ugas is winning this fight. Oh, okay, cool. Then, then you he's calling out you, Joe. <laughs> there you go. How do you know that? Well, I don't know that. I'm my view. Oh, because because Dame is my guy. And oh, I, and oh I know no he wonder. Be talking oh, well, about Jay, me. Jay. Well, here, hold on. Let me have my cousin call. Hey, him, listen. Right, that, hey, he's a gold you. Miller. He's a gold medalist yes, yes, here at the yeah, Olympic right, Games. So. Hey, listen, listen. Hey, well, you know that's all well and good, but right now <laughs> I'm uh, just saying he, it's he your knows buddy. what, he knows what he's talking about. Round number right. eight. Manny Pacquiao at the age of 42, two years removed from the ring, but came back, shocked the world, was able to outpoint split decision over Keith Thurman, who's here with us tonight. And a very different fight so far in this one. And again, Pacquiao had a knockdown in round one that gave him momentum in that fight against Keith Thurman. Right hand lands from Ugas. I tell you what, I'll say this, uh, and, you, and the fight against was going to be Errol Spence Jr. I say, you know what? If this fight gets to the back half, 8 through 12, I worry for Manny Pacquiao. And I started to feel the same way about this fight where you're Dennis Ugas. So I feel like it's getting later in this, and it could swing Ugas yep. away. Let's go to Larry Hazard. Larry, how do you have it through seven? I got Pacquiao ahead by one point, 67-66. But Ugas is coming back. So far in this round, I got Ugas ahead right now. We'll see how this round ends up. But right now, I got Pacquiao ahead by one point. 67, 66. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, no, look, yeah, I think he he's is been coming back. Throughout. But now, coming back, was, again, I, I think he's been in it the whole time. Was Larry included in on the day? Oh, absolutely. They, they tried okay. it. All right. Okay. <laughs> whoever, okay, so then whoever felt like Manny Pacquiao was controlling this fight and, and, and Not controlling. Nobody said that word. Oh, what, we said, what we said was. I know that right hand is trouble. Yeah, I know was that. Was that the beginning of the fight, Pacquiao was throwing the combinations. 
He and, and, and Ugas was much more passive than he is now. Second half of the fight, he's turning it on. He's throwing the hard shots behind the jab. Nobody's going to deny that. He's fighting more. That right That's hand why he's into coming the body back as well. Coming back again, throwing that jab up and landing that right hand. Again, it comes down to scoring shots, and these are competitive rounds. There's no question about that. I think Ugas is cut a bit as well. That's why so, they had Mike Rodriguez in the corner in between that bump Salas out and Rodriguez stopped the bleeding on that cut. There you go, a little cut right over the right eye. It's not much, and then they start to exchange. 30 seconds to go here in round number eight. Well, Long way to go. Here's the, here's the adjustment from Manny Pacquiao. Finish your combination and do that right there. Get off, get to the right of that, get to the right side of, or excuse me, get to the left side of Ugas away from that right hand. Yeah, even if he moves away, though. Exactly. Too much moving straight exactly. backwards for, for uh, Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao tries to come back and answer that hook. I got to have a grazing hook off the side of his head. Ugas has been able to have all the answers here against Manny Pacquiao. Good hard right hand by Ugas. Punctuating round eight. Ugas found a, a home for that right hand now, and that's all there is to it. And Jinky can barely watch, looks up, concerned for her husband. There's that right hand. Look, because when the right hand comes, it's normally coming straight. No, no, I don't think Manny's ever seen a fighter who throws a right hand like that. It is, the Cubans are known for throwing that right hand. And Manny, I don't think he's ever seen that right hand come. Well, you, you saw it because Manny went to parry what exactly. he thought was a straight right hand, yep. and it came around. Yep. But he's been deacon him, look. I mean, uh, uh, Ugas is tricky that way. He'll throw him down the middle, get you thinking there, get you to parry, move your hand there, then come around. Yeah. Ugas has been able to land 60% of his power shots. That is increasing now. And again, Russell Moore, oh, he's warning Ugas again. Think of the guys Ugas has beat, by the way, since that two-year layoff. I mean, quality wins Jamal James, Ray Robinson, Thomas DeLorme, Omar Figueroa, Mike Dallas Jr., Abel Ramos. Inexplicably a, inexplicably a split decision. And, 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 I, and, I, and I apologize. That was stitched around working on the... Uh, on the cut in Ugas's corner. I think I just had a clash there for a moment, so they both stopped and then touched gloves to re-engage. You see, power punches landed in favor of Manny Pacquiao, 65 to 59. It is close. The jabs connected still in favor of Ugas, 45 to 32. That's not how you score the fight, but it gives you an indication of who's landing what. Round number nine, again scheduled for the championship 12, and Manny Pacquiao once again being put to the no, test. Stop. That's what you have. That's what happens knockdown. when you fight the top knockdown. fighters. And Ugas is one of the top fighters in the world. Don't, don't push him down. Okay. You okay? Let's go. And you wonder how much is left in the tank of Manny Pacquiao. Face is marked up a bit. The energy level a bit on the wane. Yeah, the last three rounds, Ugas really has turned up the heat. And this is why I believe he's, he's won those rounds, because he's, I'm going to give credit where I think credit is due. He's doing a lot of the fighting now. He's being busy, and he's frustrating Pacquiao. Pacquiao's having a hard time landing a clean shot. Right. I'll tell you the truth. Even if he's busy at times, he cannot land a clean shot where I think Ugas is now. Romani well, finally keeping that left hand at home right there to block that right hand. And also, it's, I feel like Manny's energy's up a little bit this round, and he's changing the rhythm a little bit this round. Well, so I guarantee he's been warned in the corner, look, you're falling behind. Yeah. You're going to lose this fight if you don't win these next few yeah. rounds. We're in the ninth round right now. Yeah. You know? And again, it's a 42-year-old man. We've seen Pacquiao just been able, he, he can go through a wall through his whole career. But can he do it again and again? It is difficult. And if he didn't build a points lead early, it's going to be tough to come back yeah. later here. Again, that said, punches landed still very close. We don't know how the judges will have it. Well, I felt like that was what he did against uh, Keith Thurman. I felt like he controlled the, the first half of the fight, maybe a little more than that, That's and right. then Keith came on late at the end. Without In this case, Manny's got to keep his foot on the gas pedal, or he will continue to fall behind. Ugas with the combination. And not only that, it keeps Pacquiao back. Pacquiao tries throwing his hands. A lot of those shots are blocked. Ugas comes back. Again, Ugas able to keep it in re-engage mode, where they're able to fight from distance and box the way he wants to box. Look at that. I mean, that's a beautiful counter off of Manny's right hand. Ugas comes back with that right to left uppercut to the belly. That's good right, right hook right there to the yeah. body uh, by Manny Pacquiao. 
Well, that's patented counterpunching by Ugas. You know, he's capable of that. And there he is, switching up the right hand. Look, there's no doubt he's having a much better second half of this fight. Yeah. Ugas has been able to fight from the pocket, step back, and have Pacquiao stand right in front of him. And he could be winning all these rounds. Okay. No, vamos para el Diego, ¿verdad? Dame a uno, dame a uno. Okay, now we're in the Ponle top round. Put the towel behind his neck. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Nice and tenemos. calm. Nice, we have him, we have him. Nice and calm. Jordani. Jordani. Hace falta que te imponga. What you need to do Oíte, is impose yourself here in this fight now. Acuérdate, acuérdate. Remember, Remember, you can do whatever you want in this fight. Take advantage of everything here. This is yours. Diorana, Leon, Ugas' fiance, smiling here. His corner is feeling it as well. Pacquiao still throwing 60 punches around, but hasn't landed more than 11 since round five. As we get now to round number 10, Manny Pacquiao, your Dennis Ugas, and Ugas, we don't know if he's assumed control, but he could be doing enough to win a lot of these rounds. Well, I, I don't think there's any question the last three, four rounds, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's swung uh, to Ugas' favor. But, you know, Salas is not going to rely on that. He told him that you've got to assert yourself. And in other words, don't leave any doubt as to who's winning these rounds. Yeah, because we are in the 10th uh, round right now. Well, so. again, and, and Pacquiao famously has a fantastic engine. But again, he's older now. He's 42. I'll tell you what, I like the coaching right there from Silas. Oh. oh. Sage now. Maybe this is Pacquiao's chance. Make it a fight. Oh. Ugas very strong, though, on the inside. I like the coaching. Uh, like Silas says, you got to impose yourself. Don't leave it. Take everything that's there. And he, and he also told him, you did this, you can do anything you want. I love that coaching. Well, I agree with it all. Good hard right hand by Ugas. Right off the jab, too. Put it up as a blinder and comes down with the hammer. Pacquiao begins to slow now. Still obviously dangerous in exchanges. Tries with the jab. Some of those shots blocked. Doubling up on the jab, Ugas again follows with the right hand. And Manny keeping that left hand at home. Quite a few rounds went by with, with Manny getting caught with a clean right hand by uh, Arriba, Ugas, Arriba, Ugas, but now he's Arriba, keeping that left hand at home. Ugas landed a right hand to the body. Now Pacquiao able to land, come in with the right hand. But coming up way short with that left hand, the signature, that, that's you know, the power problem. Shot. He's coming up short this round with, you know, three out of the four punches he's throwing. And usually that left hand, Joe, that's the one that caught Keith Thurman. Knocked him down again, the one that drilled Marquez again and again. That's the power shot. Wow. Ugas landing now, sending the sweat flying from Pacquiao's head. Long arms, tall, and, and a very clever fighter. That's what he's got in front of him right now. Exactly. I saw three looks from, uh, uh, from your Dennis Ugas in this fight. Moments where he did that right there, he took control. Moments where he let Manny throw and he just blocked. And then also moments where he would step back like that. And then there's one more yeah. where, he'll, where he'll, st he'll stay in exchange. Manny hasn't been able to find the range in the distance because of that. Those different looks, those different ways of defending Manny Pacquiao's punches has kept Manny guessing virtually this entire fight. And the pace slows. Ugas able to take the air out of the ball on Pacquiao. Good hard right hand off the jab again. He's landing clean shots. Pacquiao able to land his jab. He knows he's going to have to force the action. Yeah. That's round 10. All right, here we go. We, 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 we got a couple of replays. I think this is the part where they both went at it. And uh, Pacquiao landed hard and Ugas landed hard. There was a right, <laughs> a short right hook by Pacquiao. That was about it. That was that was a total miss by Pacquiao with both hands going. Here's here's Ugas, flush right down the straight, right down the middle with a jab. And he's going to hook right around that hand again for the, about the 15th time this fight. And here's Ugas back with the jab, double jab, straight right hand grazed off of Pacquiao, grazed off his arm, grazed by his face. And then here's Ugas again. He's having a good second half of the fight. Manny turned 
to right out that right hook. The left hook never came. So he's got Manny on edge about that sweep right hand right now. He's reacting to it and reacting to a, another punch that didn't even come. So Ugas is having his way the last half of the fight. Ugas has outlanded Pacquiao in eight of ten rounds. He could make a case not just at the second half of the yeah. fight, first half of the fight as well. Well, I, you know, I, again, I thought I thought Pacquiao was much busier. Whether or not he was landing solid punches, he just looked like he was more active in the first five rounds. Mm -hmm. Six so, minutes left for Manny yeah. Pacquiao to try to close the gap. We believe. Well, yeah. We don't have the scorecards. But, but, we don't know. But this, since since the seventh round, I think Ugas has just been, you know, piling up the points. I tell you, the two things I like to see from Manny, use a feint. I think the feint's going to open some things up for Manny, and then also use the feet a little more and try to set up his offense. I don't think he's done that this entire fight. Pacquiao just does not present the same threat to Ugas here. Again, Ugas not only a supreme boxer, but a very strong man in there as well, and a full-sized welterweight. Pacquiao is still undersized in this weight class. Obviously has the power when they exchange, uh, but that threat diminishes with each round as the energy is on the way. Body shot lands for Ugas. Pacquiao Stop. plunges Stop. forward. Yeah, Look that on. was another another Fred you know Hall. effort, you know, a brutish effort by Manny Pacquiao to get something done because he knows he's probably behind right now and he's got to get something done. Straight up the middle comes Ugas. Well he, put, Joe Brutish as yeah. well, trying to come in and bum rush him. Yeah, he, he doesn't have much of a choice. He's not going to outmaneuver on his feet, uh, Ugas, right now. It's just not going to happen. And it was never set up. You know, I, I think that if, if anything, Ugas is, is ready for whatever Manny's going to present to him now at this point. Wow, Pacquiao, able to land on that shot. That was one. See. Wow, cuffing right hand to the side of the yeah, Pacquiao's got the ear. Pacquiao's got his hand up good there, though. He's he's hit to that punch, even though it'll probably still get through, That's through right there. The, right on the belt right there from Ugas. Straight up the middle with the right hand for Ugas. Minute to go here in round 11. Not much time left for Pacquiao, if indeed he is behind on the cards. And you wonder what the future is for Manny Pacquiao. How much is left? We love to see him. Look, we're enjoying this. Yeah. I mean, this, he, I, he's I, trailing. I'm enjoying this. I promise you, BK, I'm over here. I'm thinking this is a great fight. Yeah, I'm it literally is. thinking yeah. this is a great fight. You got a game replacement fighter in you, Dennis Ugas, who knew what he was up against. And then you got a, a guy, in Manny Pacquiao, trying to right. cement his legacy right here tonight. I, have you ever seen a bad Manny Pacquiao fight? No. Never seen a bad no. Manny Pacquiao Doesn't fight, happen. even in the ones that he lost. Right, not, ju happen. not just that. Throw any young guy in front of Ugas right now. Are they going to do any better than Manny Pacquiao? There you go. There you no, go. You know? <laughs> there you go. Well, Ugas makes himself a real player. Again, you've got Errol Spence, who's still the welterweight champ. Terrence Crawford there. Sean Porter sitting with us right here. And again, we knew he was a player, but this kind of puts him on the on the map of public perception. Digging in here in the final seconds in round 11. One round to go. Nice jab right there from Manny Pacquiao. The jab was underutilized by Manny, but it set up that left hand right there. And then Man Manny does what he always does, which is keep going. Yeah, and, and, and here's, here's Ugas coming back with that patented right hand that landed on the back of the neck to tell you the truth you know man he's been protecting it himself his chin at least from that sweet right hand i like that you refer to it as patent <laughs> as what it, as patent you said oh, oh he's got patented. Patented. yeah right yeah, yeah yeah i like that well fans we're approaching the 12th and final round of this bout let's cheer him up as they end the bus this is round 12. It's been a long career, Sean. Yeah. It's <laughs> final round. Hey, let's, let's enjoy it. Yeah, it's, it's that, that, that I am. I don't like the fact that you announced that right now. Right, yes, right. it has been a long yeah. career, and it ain't over yet. No, it yeah, ain't. Cool, but just that corner work. Yeah. 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 Sorting him because they know what's happening here. You're Dennis Ugas. You see there right there. 3-0 and is a late sub fought and beat both Jamal James and Thomas DeLorme on short notice. He got this fight with 11 days notice, but he was on the card. So he was training. He was getting ready for yeah. Fabian Maidana. Right. He was training. He was getting ready. Suddenly he had a chance to take on Pacquiao instead. So he was ready to go. And here we go. Final two and a half minutes of this fight. 
I tell you what, shame on me for not saying this until right now. I just noticed it now. What? And, and, and also shame on Manny. I don't think I've ever seen Manny really use head movement, but the head movement to get out of the way of that oh. right hand, and then you'll be able to return shots. Manny never tried to use head movement to get out of the way of that right hand. Uh, yeah, for most of his career, Sean, that head was moving constantly. So it's, it's just very different now. And his feet were not moving yeah. in this fight. And yeah. he just got rocked by a right hand. Look, he's not devastated or hurt, but he got knocked sideways on his feet. Yeah. Two minutes to go. And Pacquiao come up with a miracle. And he's, and he's waiting on the right hand. Manny, Manny's not in control. He's got to take control. No, I, I think it's fair to say Manny needs a, a, a knockout. I, I would say so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I mean, unless so. there's something that we're missing on the scorecards. Yeah. I mean, and Joe, frequently, yeah. we're missing something that's on the yeah. scorecards. Yeah. Really, we've seen it. We've seen straight. Look, we've seen things that Ugas, Ugas again, got a split decision against Abel Ramos. Made no sense whatsoever. No. So, look, I think weird things can happen. I think we've seen the ebb and flow of this fight, and it seems like Ugas has been in control and took control in this bout. Right hand again by Ugas, There's partially a, blocked. Yeah, Ugas has found a home for that. If nothing else, that has stopped Manny from doing anything in reply. That right hand is throwing him off balance. It's making him really cover up, and it's landing there. It, it, he's found a home for it. And you know what? It's not just age either, because Pacquiao had a lot of energy early in right. this fight. I don't want to make it seem just like that, but we realize this is a 42-year-old man who was, you know, a, a, a junior, you know, featherweight champion. He was a smaller fighter. This isn't Big George Foreman at 45. Well, I tell you what, even with 40 seconds left, Manny still wants this win. Yeah, he, he wants does. this fight. I think if Manny could get a knockout right now, he'll go for it. Oh, yeah. Final 30 that. seconds, hard body shot by Ugas. Pacquiao's last stand, possibly. Manny landed a good right hook, left hand, landed another left hand right there. But they know it's at stake. Ugas let it fly as well. He's been on the world stage a long time. Got the opportunity of a lifetime when Spence had to bow out. Look at this. Final 10 seconds. Fans standing on their feet. What's left for Pacquiao? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Ugas believes he has done wow. enough and is at the end of a legend. This could be a huge upset. Of course, you know, the, the, the Vegas <laughs> yeah. books, they had Pacquiao a huge favorite. Here. Yeah. But we knew he was a live dog. We yeah. knew he yeah. was for real. No doubt about it. Uh, Ugas is a tall order. You know that when you watch him fight. And let's give credit to his trainer, Ishmael Salas, who he's been really, uh, you know, uh, on fire with. Uh, probably 12 and 1 yeah. at this point. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, 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 who, gave him the, who gave him the only loss, was it? Strong team. Who gave him the loss? Oh, 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 was that me? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's you. <laughs> Sean, Showtime, Sean Porter. Let no, me but that goes to show you. Just in case somebody Sean, doesn't know me. You got, look, you and got now Ugas win. goes over the corner to show respect. Bad man yeah. Right there. Yeah. You got the win over that dude. Yeah. I mean, and look at the respect being shown. Show. You. Wow. Let's go to Larry Hazard's scorecard and just see what Larry had, especially, again, early on he was with Manny Pacquiao, and that switched as of round six. Pacquiao yeah. took round nine, but that's it in the second half. And yet, he's got it reasonably close, 115 to 113. So if Larry Hazard has it like that, you would think a judge could reasonably have yeah. it somewhere near there. Yeah. So this is not out of the question, although the three of us sitting here saw Ugas take over. We go back once again, and Ugas able to make his statement late. That, that was an open glove. That was uh, nothing of any consequence. It was off balance. And here, here's Pacquiao trying to do something in the last round here, trying to turn the tide, trying to drop him, hurt him, do something that, uh, you know, could let him win this fight. But I, I, I don't know. I think he fell short in this round as well. There's a little block and turn. So, you know, you know Pacquiao tried to counter off that right hand off of Ugas with a hook. But to no avail. Look, we've been pointing out all week that your Dennis Ugas is a legitimate top five welterweight. And in the top five, Sean, you're one of them, Keith Thurman, one of them. It's razor close when the top guys fight. Absolutely, 100%. I, I, I said this, uh, I said that your Dennis Ugas has to win a fight in order for me to look at him as a champion. And not only did he oh, 
maybe win this fight. He he did a very outstanding job. Uh, did an outstanding job. Uh, look at the, the punches landed, punches thrown. 59% there. I mean, look at that. It's the power punches thrown, and it was that right hand that seemed to connect almost every time. 59% of the time that Ugas threw it. It is interesting that Pacquiao threw over 800 punches. Ugas just over 400. Yeah. It's of note. Well, because because Ugas was not busy in the first half of the fight. That's the bottom line. Let's get the decision. A lot riding on this. Ugas and Pacquiao, we go to the ring. And Jimmy Lennon Jr. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. The judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of Rings High, Patricia Morse Jarman, scores about 115 to 113. Judges Steve Weisfeld and Dave Moretti both scored about 116 to 112. All three in favor of the winner. And still champion, Jordanis Uga. These are very good judges. Yep. And they had it 8-4, 8-4, and 7-5. So it was competitive. It was reasonably close. And I think we believe the right man won this fight. And, and I think Larry Hazard had it right in terms of that first half of the fight, where, where Pacquiao probably won the majority of his rounds. Because it was certainly mostly all Ugas in the second half of that fight, no Ma doubt. Manny Pacquiao, by the way, landed just 16% of his punches against Ugas. As comparison, he landed 19% against Floyd Mayweather. So Ugas was defensively responsible, and his offense and his jab made all this possible. Yeah. Just a, a beautiful performance by Ugas. But, but Pacquiao threw many more punches against yeah. Ugas yeah. than yeah. he did against Over 800. Yeah. No, it's amazing. And again, that was spirited, and it was entertaining. Did you like that fight? Oh, I like that fight. Unbe unbelievable and look, fight. And after, you know, Joe, I've watched this a long time. Anytime anybody loses, it's like, all right, is he going to retire? Hold on. He just lost a fight. So I'm not <laughs> calling for that now. He is 42. You wonder what Manny would like to do. He still commands a lot in the marketplace. And you wonder what the future will bring. Jordan Plant is in the ring now with the winner, your Dennis Ugas. Jordan? This way, this way. Ugas, congratulations. You haven't had it easy. You came from Cuba. You haven't seen your family at one point when you came here for nine years. You've had some losses. This wasn't supposed to be you in here tonight. Was it your destiny? Era destino. Tú no tenías que estar aquí en estos momentos. Nueve años sin ver la familia. Venir aquí a hacer esto. ¿Cómo te sientes? No, estoy emocionado. Ante todo, que duele la gracia Manny Pacquiao por compartir, por pelear conmigo. I'm very excited, but most of all, I want to thank Manny Pacquiao for, to, for giving me this moment in this ring today. I told you, I am the champion of the WBA, and I showed it tonight. You did, and it seemed like you were even having fun in there. I saw you shimmying your shoulders. You were smiling. How fun was this moment? You were smiling in the ring, like you were dominating well, like you were enjoying the fight. Bueno, siento mucho respeto por Pacquiao, pero yo vine, vine este, este, esta noche a, a demostrar quién es el campeón del WBA. Mucho respeto para él, es una pelea, fue tremendo competidor como siempre y, y nada, estoy agradecido con él. No, definitely, he's a, def a great competitor, um, but I came in here to show that I am the champion of the WBA and uh, a lot of respect for him, but I won the fight. And also, you were landing that jab from the beginning. You started with the double jab, landed to the body. Was that the key to this fight? La llave de esta pelea fue el, el jab, el doble jab que demostraste esta noche. Sí, tenía un, un buen, una buena mano adelante. Eh, la trabajé bien. Traté de hacerle caso a mi esquina. Tuvimos solo dos semanas para entrenar, pero hice el trabajo, gracias a Dios. No, definitely. That was the lead uh, punch, that double jab. We only had two weeks of training, but I listened to my corner, and it all worked out. Yes, and, you know, Pacquiao was adamant that you didn't earn this belt because you were elevated a champion in January, but I think you've earned it now. So what do you want to do next? Who's next? Bueno, te elevaron como campeón en el mes de enero y decían en el lado de Pacquiao que tú no eres el campeón real. Ahora, ¿qué quiere hacer Jordan y Zugas próximamente? Bueno, yo pienso que voy en el camino que, que estaba, es a unificarme. Ya le gané a, a que, que todo el mundo decía que es un campeón. Ahora soy campeón, a unificarme. Now the plan is to unify the title in the welterweight. Everybody said that he was the champion, now they know who the real champion is. 
So does, does that mean Errol Spence? Eso quiere decir que Errol Spence está próximamente. El siguiente en la lista debe ser, eh, pero ante, estoy pensando porque se recupere. No, he's the next one on the list that I want to fight, but most of all, I am uh, praying that he recuperates. Bueno, bueno, eh, todos los cubanos estaban viendo esto. Los cubanos salieron masivamente a apoyarme. Patria y vida, patria y vida. Life for the Cuban people that came out in massive amounts to come and see me. So for the country and for life. Patria y muerte no, patria y vida. Respects to you, pa respects to you. Congratulations, Ugas. We're going to send it over to Heidi with Pacquiao. Thank you very much, Jordan. Manny, you took this fight against your Dennis Ugas just 11 days ago. Certainly a different opponent than you were expecting. Was he more difficult than you expected? Um, just uh, make an adjustment for uh, a few days. So it's good. Um, I mean, that's, uh, that's boxing. Most definitely. In terms of, of the jab, you know, that was a weapon that he used. Was it, were you having a hard time finding your timing against it? I know. Um, it, uh, I'm uh, making a hard time in, in, in the ring, uh, making adjustment about, uh, about his style. And um, I think uh, that's uh, um, uh, the problem for me because uh, I didn't... Uh, make an adjustment right away, and also uh, my legs are uh, tight. Yeah, we, we saw that we, you didn't use your legs as much, not as much footwork from you, and not as much head movement from you as well. Was it, was it a matter of tightness? Was that the issue? Yeah, uh, my legs are uh, so tight. Uh, that's why it's hard, it's hard to move. Do you think that's father time? 42 years old, still doing this, man, going the distance here against a, a yes, look at this. This crowd is so pumped to be here. They they came to see you. What do you want to What do you want to say to them? Well, um, I'm so thankful to the fans so coming here to watch the to witness the the fight live. I'm really I, I I'm really appreciate of your effort to come here, even despite of this uh, pandemic. Uh, you you have uh, time to watch live the fight, and uh, I'm sorry that uh, that uh, we lost tonight. But uh, you know I did my best and. I apologize. Now you know the question that's coming next. Will we see you in the ring again? I know a lot of respect between you. Will we see you fight again? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's uh, uh, let me rest first and relax and uh, make a decision if I'm continue to fight or not. Like a true politician, will you be running for president in the Philippines in May of uh, 2022? Well, I will make an uh, I will make a final announcement uh, next month, and uh, I don't know. You know, I know that I'm uh, facing a, a big problem in um, more difficult works than uh, boxing. So, but I want to help the people. I want to uh, uh, to help them. Oh. You know, in terms of this crowd, they're all, they're all on their feet here standing. Regardless of what you decide to do, there will never be another Manny Pacquiao to stand in this ring. As Brian Kenny said, you are a two-career Hall of Famer. First of all, uh, to all the fans, I really appreciate of your effort to come here. Uh, I hope that in my, in my more than uh, 20 years in boxing, I, I make you uh, enjoyment and... Uh, um, happiness in my career. Um, I mean, you know, that's, uh, that's boxing. I, I congratulate uh, my opponent, uh, your Dennis August, for uh, making tough tonight and uh, for uh, winning tonight. So that's boxing. Uh, let's uh, face uh, uh, another tomorrow again and uh, plan our prayer. Very good. Thank you very much, Manny Pacquiao. It's always fun to see you box. Brian Kenny, we'll send it back to you. Heidi, thank you so much. And I'm glad the crowd got a chance to show their appreciation for this man. Even in a loss, there's no love lost at all for this man, this warrior, Manny Pacquiao. You know, every fighter, guys, has to make their own decision. Their health yeah. is at stake. Sean, your health is at stake Absolutely. in there. Selfishly, I think we'd all love to see Pacquiao again. Uh, what are your thoughts on Pacquiao and his future? Sean, start with you. Well, he's got to assess things. Uh, being 42, uh, they, they always say the fighter's the last one to know. 
And uh, with that being said, I think it's up to his team to really assess what he did tonight, what his struggles were tonight, and if he could continue to fight and be able to fight through the struggles that he had tonight. Joe? Well, look, I think it's been a great career. I think it's been a long, great career. I think he's reached every pinnacle he has. I don't know what's left for him to reach at this point. He's going to be 43. You know what? I think the man should enjoy the rest of his life outside of a gym. You know what it's like. It's a grueling struggle. It, 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 it's a hard grind, and it wears on you mentally, physically, and spiritually. Give the guy a break. Let him go live a normal life. I, that's what I say. Well, no one thing's for sure. He's not going to live a, a normal life. He's a <laughs> senator in the Philippines. He wants to be president. He's not surfing. Well, I'll tell you what. Boxing is, is less normal than anything else he can do. I tell you what, he's going to a different fight, but that but he's prepared for that fight, too. He is. Look, uh, yeah. that was entertaining. It was competitive. He was not embarrassed. Uh, outstanding fight. We hope it's not the end, but we wish him the best, of course. Your Dennis Ugas, bigger things ahead.